Gil ratings. This is Garth Ross, the Tireless Adventure, another episode of FTB Season 3. This is Episode 3. Episode 2 just got uploaded. You don't even have, I don't even have comments on it yet, but I got time to record, so I am going to record. Don't hate me. All right, today we'll be working with Mine Factory Reloaded, and I got pretty much all my stuff handled over there. I got a very important tool here. Now, you can use the Crescent wherever it's at hammer for this stuff but this one is important because it gives you an added benefit and one of those added benefits we'll be finding out here shortly now the second thing we need to make is not those <laughs> i did that wrong uh the second thing we need to make is uh, the machine frame equivalent of mine factory reloaded which is factory machine block and we're just going to need two of these and i just got six for some reason because i didn't see the three until the second click i could have swore that i only made one but it doesn't matter we'll probably be using them quite a bit and as you can see i haven't been harvesting too much and everything is pretty much grown up i got a lot of these trees going there from the from the thing and there's the foundation slash walls of the house that i'm going to be building so we're we're looking pretty good so far but what we want to what we want to do first is make our planter and the planter is the planter is going to be our thing that puts the the stuff down so uh the uh, tree saplings down so we got the the factory machine block we're going to need a piston three plastic sheets which i have three plastic sheets left but we're also going to need one two three four five six and oh i got one piece of redstone left oh i gotta go i gotta go shopping Totally forgot what I was supposed to be making with that. Oh, one of those. Okay. Right, so the first thing we're going to need is a piston. And then we're going to need uh, this. Cooking up because we need bricks. So let's go ahead and put this in here like we need to. Uh, 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 and uh. Gimme, 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 gimme. take them forever anyways the flower pot is made thusly we're gonna need a second one and the planter will be ready now that's not even what I'm looking for this is what I'm looking for hello me but the planter boom is not a chest <laughs> but we grab this out and I'll show you why it's why this tool is important because it's kind of hard to figure out what goes where and sometimes you got to you know, especially if you have an upgrade in it, you don't know how far it's going to be. So let's go ahead and place down, that's not it, our planter. Let's place our planter down. And you're like, well, what's the range on it? Boop, get this in your hand. And you see the range. So you're like, we know a piece of dirt has to go right here. So that will help us out a great deal. Um, can I, I'm pretty sure I can break that with a pick yet. Yeah, okay. Would have been stupid if I couldn't. <laughs> But we'll go over here and place it down. And remember, the upgrade we're going to use is increases the radius by three. And this house is going to be probably out this way. So let's go. Let's go one, two, three. Let's go one, two, three. And then we'll do one, two, three one two so this will be where our planter goes now when we select this we can see that's where it's going to work and you notice it's green now because there's grass underneath of it and everybody's happy so and our harvester is going to go um right here our harvester is going to go right here and once we get the two upgrades on, then we will totally have it all all well and good. Now, I am going to need some more redstone. And I figure since I'm going to need some more redstone, I might as well go down in the uh, basement area where I found all my good stuff and show you guys what I got. Because, as you can see, I'm already up to 31 levels just from doing some more mining and whatnot and killing mobs as they're trying to kill me and killing them back. And it's just, it's been a lot of fun. I'm just oodles of fun. Let's put you in there. Um, this comes back out. That goes in. This goes in there. This goes over here. I'm just putting things everywhere. 
and you are going to go here. So we need more torches. Definitely going to need more torches. That is still not a chest. There's still not the thing. And now we have torches that we need. Let's put our hammer up and head on down. And I'll show you guys what I've what I've been where I've been going to get the things that I need because it's really it's really it's really uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, chock full. It's just chock full of goodies down here. Abundant. It's abundant. That's what I meant to say. This is not what I wanted to do though. No, this is it. Is it? No, not up. There we go. But as you can see down there, there's that way. Over here, there's all kinds of stuff. That's not what I wanted to do. That's not where I wanted to go. I don't remember coming up this way. Starting to draw weird blank. Oh, I remember what I was going to do. I went the wrong way. I knew I went the wrong way. Uh, what I wanted to do was come over. There we go. This is what I'm looking for. I'm going to come over here. If you recall... I believe this is the right place, but I could be wrong. I have been wrong several times. I get lost down here. Super easy. Yeah, this is definitely the wrong way. I don't remember half of these turns. Ah, I get lost in my own cave system because it's so freaking cavey. It was down here that I must have gone. I do believe I'm going the right way now. But anyway, yeah, this is it. Because we had the uh, ore bushes over there. We come down here. We come over here. A creeper got me here, but didn't kill me, thank God. And then we come... Nope. Down here. Yes. Okay, yes. So let's just go ahead and put these down here. What is that? Peridot? Yeah, oh, it's quantum. But we can come down here and pick up some stuff. Did I forget my bucket? I did, I forgot my bucket. Playing around lava with no bucket. Not a good decision. You hear that slap slap? Huh. Missed it. All right. Okay, so we got 12. That's good. That's good for now. And I can't believe I came down here without my bucket. Oh, I hate these things. You probably, you guys probably didn't see it. Oh. God, scared the crap out of me. Little turd. You little turd. Now I don't even know where I'm going. You got me so flusticated. Got me so flusticated. I don't even know where I'm going. Jerk face. <laughs> I'm so turned around and lost. It's not even funny. Um, here we go. Get up there, don't fall down. This is like so precarious, it's stupid. <laughs> and I'm like willingly doing that to myself. Okay. Ugh. All we needed was redstone. But as you can see, there's all kinds of goodies down there. And I've been running down to get them as I need them. And I uh, picked up another level of eyes down there, which is always good. Definitely need to throw some stairs in here, though, so I'm not blowing all my hunger uh, jumping. But then again, uh, to be completely honest with you, I not really short on food so I don't care now what were we gonna do oh we we're gonna do this over here uh, we want one two one two 
We want the raw plastic. Raw plastic. We also want tin. Silver. That's iron. That's tin. One, two, three. One, two, three. We also want one piece of gold. There are all gold. Because you need gold nuggets. Like that. And then we get boom. Ah, 10 upgrades. But before we do that, we need to get our harvester going. Harvester, which is, we got to make a whole kind of stuff. Harvest. I'm obviously from New England. Harvest. The harvester. <laughs> All right, so we need two shears, a golden axe. All right, let's get that stuff first. Uh, two shears and a golden axe. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three. We already have sticks on us. So, golden axe. Shears. They don't stack. Harvester. Oh, I don't have that stuff on me. One, two, three. You need to make more. Harvester. What am I missing now? Oh, okay. I remember now. Things that don't stack usually have a hard time getting autoed in there. So now we have the harvester. So we have the harvester, which we need to go to sleep because it's dark time. What are all the nighttime sleepy things? Oh, okay, I do have a couple of comments to read um, from episode one. Yours Forever said, I was just thinking of doing the same thing but not uploading it. Well, I don't know why not. And it says, lol, love you right in the face. <laughs> Sounds painful. <laughs> Sounds painful. Yeah, I came up here a while ago, and there was three of those he hecates or whatever they're called. What's this over here? What the heck is that? Oh, he's got a pick in his head. That was amazing. Oh, man. Come on over here, dudes. Dudes and dudettes. Hecate, where'd you go? You're like blind as a bat. There you go. You're good for nothing. You're good for nothing. Anyway, so let's go get the harvester going. Right here. Oh, I forgot to grab those things. I forgot to grab the things. Now, with the harvester, when you put it down, facing the direction that you're facing, I didn't grab the, the thing either, but it has a 1, 2, 3 by 1, 2, Three. So its central point is actually right there. And then when it does its radius expansion, it, it, it expands the same way the, the planter does from the center out. So if you put a one on there instead of being a three by three, it would be a five by five because it would extend it one in either way, in, in either direction. So that's why we're using the ten upgrades. Boop, boop. All right, and we grab this. And then we put this. In our inventory. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, the, uh, that's annoying. <laughs> that's annoying. There we go. I was like, you use, a, you use the precision sledgehammer, the precision, the precision sled, pres ah, use this thing, and um, it rotates items. And it'll rotate vanilla items as well. So let's go ahead and put this up here. As you see how the, the blue one there works out? When I put this stuff in here, you'll see it's bigger now. And you see its center point actually moved to right here. So that when we put this in here, you'll see that both items are now together. So yellow and blue make green, or green and blue make whatever this color is. So now this whole area is a, a tree farm. Which is exactly what we want. Now the key thing with the harvester is it kicks its things out the back. And that is all well and good. And everybody's super duper happy about it. Um, but it won't kick into an item duct. So we have to, we have to put a chest behind it. We, it will kick into AE. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not AE ready yet. Uh, and this is where you would like if, see you see the colors like purple right there. Um, if I put like a sapling right there, it would only grow the saplings in the purple area. 
uh, well, if I had everything else, like if I could put dirt like right here, it wouldn't use paint. All right, <clears throat> so let's go get our stuff ready, and I'll show you exactly how I'm going to do this. Now, the first thing that we're going to have to do is clear out some space underneath, because this system requires a little bit of space for cooking, cooking and junk. Now, we are going to have to make another redstone furnace, so I'm not, I'm not horribly upset with that. But, uh, yeah, there is that. And it kind of, like I said, it, it totally handles itself. And tin, with a tin upgrade, you know, you get effectively what is a 9x9 nine nine section. Do I have everything I need? I need item ducts. So we need item ducts are here. Yes. Leadstone and item. Item ducts. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I might need more redstone. But let's go ahead and just, we'll set this up. Tin. Yeah, let's just let's just do that. Recipe. That's not what I wanted. Recipe. Gimme. Uh, we're definitely gonna need more of that. Let's just grab six more. That should totally do it for now. All right, so six more should do it. And what I'll do. So I'll put this in my inventory and I'll show you a, I'll show you a little trick. Well, it's not really a trick because it was the way it was first. But we'll just go ahead and reclaim this one and this one and then uh, put this back down. There you go. So now it's working. And I wanted to put that in there. And do I have any wood over here? I do have 25. Let's turn that into charcoal. Cause that's a good idea. We got a shovel? We got shovels. We got shovels like you wouldn't believe. Actually, I think we only have... Well, we have two. Good. 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 Yeah, I got plenty of wood cooking up right... Or uh, growing. I got plenty of, like, food and junk. So, I'm actually... I'm actually doing fairly well. And, um... Once we get this stuff handled... All right. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. So this is effectively how far down we're going to go. And since this guy will tell me where the corners are. One, two, three, four. That was stupid. <laughs> that was the whole time... On the way down, I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to die. So there you go. I didn't die. Oh, man, it's a good thing I didn't dig down on the other side. Oh, funny stuff, man. Funny stuff. So let's go ahead and put that right there. Let's be the first corner. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig out this whole section. And uh, by doing that, I'll clear out all the room that I need. But once again, this is our area. So that's what we got to work on. Let me go get some wood and get everything dug out. And I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> I like your hat. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I, I uh, was digging that, that area out beneath when I uh, realized it was nighttime. And I came out, and a stupid creeper blown everything to smithereens. Or he didn't, hadn't, he did. So I got to go clean that up. Oh, haunted hat. Look at that. That's pretty nice. <laughs> haunted hat. Anyway, so let's go clean up stuff. Are you coming after me? I'll kick your butt. So let's put our stuff back up. I thought for a second he had blown up my planter and I was literally going to just have a conniption fit. Because <laughs> I hate it when they blow things up. So let's get our stuff here. And put that there. I already ran some of this cable. But the key thing here is to remember we're going to need several things. There it is. Oh, it was already in my bottom slot. But this will feed out and down along here. And actually, I could probably... Let's do that. Let's do that. 
This will feed out along here. Just like that. And boom. And that'll effectively be what we're looking for there. Now I do I do still need to make the redstone fern eye, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go do that real fast. And uh probably make some fenceless too, building fences. Uh gotta definitely protect the, I guess we don't really need to protect the wood right now. But um we do have to set it up. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go make some uh I'm going to go make some redstone furnaces, a couple more steam dynamos, um, some fluid ducts. Actually, no, I don't think I've shown you guys how to make fluid ducts. You probably know, so I'll make those first, and then we'll pop back in. I got to pick all this stuff up. I love stuff. Give me stuff, 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 stuff. And uh, then we'll set the system up once I have everything made. Let's make some more of these. One, two... Three, four. So that'd be four of those. One, two, three, four. That'd be two of those is what I'm looking for. Uh, nah, 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 nah. I think this is how we do it. And I think I only need two. Yep. There we go. But I also need... Also need... Hmm. Uh, I guess I could I guess I could do it that way. Let's grab those. And I'm gonna I got four more of those. That's good. I can totally do that. And um so you guys have seen the fluid ducks. No, you haven't seen the fluid ducks. Let's make make the fluid ducks. Now we're gonna make opaque ones. Which the, I believe are cheaper. Yeah, it's copper and lead. Yeah, totally cheaper. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now uh, we already got one over here. And then we'll make a leadstone. Uh, leadstone. A leadstone energy cell, which is really easy. You uh, just need four lead ingots, four glass, and a redstone, and a redstone block. But uh, I got to go I gotta go farm some of that stuff up. So let's make the uh, fluid ducts real fast. I was going to say, I just grabbed that stuff, yo. All right. Got that. Now we need to grab all this stuff up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Don't need that. And let's go set this stuff up. I need buckets. Where is the bucket? Bucket. Bucket. Who's got... Oh, I used my bucket. Oh man, I am full of poop. I'm <laughs> full of poop. <laughs> you know, I just said I was full of poop. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Two, three, four, five, six. And. There we go. All right, so let's get this up and rolling. All right. Anyway, all right, so let's go get this stuff up and running. And I'll use dirt blocks in place of magmatic and uh, magmatic and uh, <clears throat> redstone furnaces. There you go, or not magmatics, uh, dynamos. Because this creates... Alright, so this will be a redstone furnace. And this will be a redstone furnace. And this will be a redstone furnace. This will be a steam. That will be a steam. And that will be a steam. And then so we'll need... These. And down here... We will need perfect. <laughs> I'm stuck. 
All right, so let's get the aqueous accumulator down. And then we get a bucket of water here and a bucket of water here. And then we do fluid ducts here, here, and here. So now we just have to go get the three steam dynamos, which you've already seen me make, and the redstone furnaces, which you've already seen me make, which means I gotta go get some, uh, I gotta go get some, uh, braid, fried, don't know what to say. Uh, oh, I just gotta go get some redstone. There we go. So let's go ahead and put you right there. So what basically will happen is the redstone furnaces will kick out into this, um, in the three areas here, and we'll have basically two uh, wow. Wow, words, pneumatic servos, one pumping items out of here, and one pumping, uh, one allowing, we can actually go ahead and do that right now. So let's go ahead and put that one in there with a right click and that one in there with a right click and then we come over here and we say you are only allowed to accept those and then we come like this consume stack off used to be an option I don't see that in here right now consume stack off hmm could have swore that was an option could have swore that was an option thing. Consume stack off is not an option anymore. It used to, it used to be. I don't know what happened to that. And then on this side, we'll just have it continuously pump out items. Actually, we'll turn that off and say you're allowed to pull out everything and effectively what we'll have is we'll have this is something important here we're going to go like this and make it consider me the closest inventory yes all right now we're going to get saplings apples and logs out of that so this shouldn't be an issue um but we are going to need some some wood for barrels totally all right so let me get this let me get this redstone and the redstone furnaces made and the other two steam dynamos and we should be rocking and rolling i'll be back shortly all right like an idiot i drug my power source over here before i was done so what i have to do now is put this down right here just like that okay now I don't necessarily need that there so I'm gonna remove that <clears throat> but what I'm gonna put in here is this charcoal which will start generating power oh I do need that there and that'll work okay but what we want to make sure we have in here at all times is wood which eventually what we'll do is we'll put in some more pneumatic servos and only allow wood in here but for right now you know what i could do i don't have an apple but you heard that chunk chunk when i just put that in there you can see it started to plant these and you can see this is working uh it's power is already full and this is filled up everything I killed a skeleton who had a nice little hat on. I totally took it. But effectively, what will happen now is all of this power that's created will run this. Now, this may be enough to run it for a long period of time right now without producing a whole bunch of extra. But for the main purposes of proving the point let me go over here and grab stuff oh creepers got me on the way out almost killed me drive me crazy with that stuff but i came out and there was not one but two and i hit one i didn't know the other one was behind me and uh jumped back and then i heard it so i had to jump forward again and they, they kind of bounced me back and forth almost killed me 
almost killed me. Almost, but not quite. You know what? Let's see, is this, this is out of energy, yeah. Let's just pick all this crap up. Let's just pick it all up. All right. What do we have in here? I don't have enough room to carry anything. Put you in there, 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 pulverizer. We do, we are going to need, see I ran out of stuff. And I don't even have enough bricks to make it <laughs> another one. <laughs> this is just how we do. Drive a crazy day. All right, so we do need this. So let's go make that. Uh, we also need leadstone. We also need this, which is regular glass. Yeah, regular glass will work. Uh, and four lead. So one, two, three, four. And then we go like this, and we go like this, and boom, we have a leadstone. Now we need to surround it with a conductance coil which is electrum remember i told you electrum oh we don't have the thing we don't have the thing silver so pulverized ferrous no we do have it there we go we got it i think i need two though do i need two no i don't <laughs> i'm so excited did I have sticks on me? I had sticks on me. All right. But well, we can totally make, um, we could juice that thing up. But we need three copper and conductance coil, which is the electrum. I told you we'd need the electrum. Remember? A member? All right. So now we have that and that and that and that. That, 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 and that, and that. Now we have a place to store excess energy. Totally. Should be everything I need for now. Uh, yeah, for now. Got the pulverizer, redstone furnace. We are going to have to make another magmatic, but as you can see, I'm down to two. Uh, um, redstone, which will eat that, and that last ma or last steam dynamo will eat up the remainder of my stuff. The remainder of my redstone. There you go. All right. So let's go ahead and make this pulver or this redstone furnace right there. And now this will go in. Nothing in here yet. But what we need to do is set this up. I forgot to do that. So this is going to be the output. We need this to be the input. Output, input. Input, output. Let's set it backwards. You shift, shift click on the center. This will be the output, and this will be the input. But now, as it as it feeds the wood in here, you'll see that it starts to get this up and rolling. And then, since we have all this extra stuff, yeah, there we go. All right, so we're gonna see what gets fed in here first. First come, first serve. It's not. Oh, <laughs> <clears throat> yes, very good, very good, and whatever hits here first will land in there, so, but we can make it pay attention to what it's supposed to do by doing this. Now, everything should come down here, and it should, see, I can't believe it, there should be an option. All right, it did not pull out those 
Why didn't it pull out those? Or are they going to why? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, see, it's putting everything in there. Oh, I know what it was. I blacklisted those. I blacklisted them. That's where I went wrong. These are whitelisted. And then we can totally put those back in there. And this, well, I don't think it'll accept either one of the other ones. So let's put that back in there. Let's put that back in there. And it should pull them out and send them to a, an inventory. Which inventory did it send them to? It, stop it! Whitelist. Only those. That reminds me of what I was going to do. For some reason... Oh, it already planted them all. I think... You have to put in the kind that it kicks out. There we go. But now it should. I don't think it'll put. I don't think it'll put apples in there. But let's find out what happens to the apples. To leave the apples in there? It does, because it has nowhere to send them. Alright, so let's go home before I die. <laughs> Not gonna do it! And uh, eventually we'll get to a point where we have more wood than we can cook. Um, so it shouldn't be it shouldn't be too big of too big of a wood hog. Because I mean I had literally barrels of unused wood last time I used this system. I forgot to put that thing down. So let's go get to sleep. So we can play nice. Servo has been installed. Uh, I'm thinking another magmatic is probably the way we want to go right now. So magmatic requires silver and redstone. Oh, and another piece of redstone. Oh, son of a biscuit. I have exactly one less than I need. Poop. Get out of here. Oh! Yeah, no thank you. I don't know what's going on there, but there's something out there. Yeah, it scared me. Ugh! <laughs> yeah, that's the one bad thing about having a hidey hole underground. Sometimes you come out and you have absolutely no idea what's out there. Get out of here. Get out of here, you little kid. There we go. Hey, he's gone. I ain't chasing him. He had a nice hat, but psh, what do you do? Alright, so we should have... Some pretty good stuff kicking it down here. Let's put you into that. We do need another magmatic engine. So you know what? Let me just go ahead and kill this for now. And make sure that all the wood goes into here. Because this thing will fill until this thing can't expel anymore but, uh, but what I'm looking for is because this wood won't get pulled out until it goes anywhere so what I'll do is I'll have another item ducked over here that leads into a barrel of wood so if I ever need wood there it is and it's totally good so this right here is powering this you can see that I forgot to put this down here last time so let's go ahead and do that again let's go ahead and put that right there and we'll make its back the input and you can see how quickly it fills up even though this stuff is 
good. It's a full of sludge already. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. Do your thing. Oh, it's working. I just got to get to it first. And before too long, it'll I'll have more saplings here than, than will fit, and it'll fill up. And then I'll have to find something to do with extra saplings. Hurry up! There we go. There you go. And that's what it does. And then the saplings move to the planter. What the... Did something catch fire? What the heck is this? I hope nothing caught fire. That would be inconvenient. Alright. Where'd all the saplings go? Must not have got too many that time. But anyway, that's how the system works. That is how the system works. Get out of here. You make me angry. Where's all my wood? That's concerning. Or disconcerting? I don't know. It's something. I don't know. Good news is, I have some wood right here. I have some wood right there. And we'll fix this real fast. Just like this. This had to be like a creeper or something. I don't know. I mean, why would that wood be... Oh, I know. This thing took it. That's what it was. That thing took it. So I might have to do something else. Definitely. Definitely have to do something else. Okay. It's not supposed to mine behind it, though. It must have been a... A bush touching that. Let's see if that fixes it. Anyway. So as you guys can see. The system should be self-sustaining. What we'll do is we'll go down here. And this is already. This is already halfway full. It's just ridiculous. Alright. Whoa. That <laughs> scared me. It grew up in my face. And as you can see, there gets a point where... Yeah, it did it again. See? Might have to move it over to this side or something. But, let's see. This buffer got drained. That's what it is. Alright, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll put this in line here so it works out. So that this charges this. Or maybe I'll move these down one. Yeah, see, because the buffer, you can hear the buffer running out. Hmm, that's what I did different last time. Of course, I did have three of them going. Yeah, I did have three of them going. Look, it's tearing my house up. Why are you reaching so far? Ugh. <laughs> Stupid me. I guess I have to replace the wood with uh, stone brick. That'll probably help. I don't remember that harvesting behind it before. That's something new. I don't like it. I don't like it, sir. I don't like it at all. But I think uh, we're at a point now where we can pretty much call this build, this this tree farm thing, good. And what it will do is we'll check up on it next episode. And see where we're headed from there, because we have we have oodles of stuff to get to get handled, and my inventory looks like crap. And I do need to go get some more of everything. Everything, literally, I'm missing everything. I need everything, and probably gonna go get some diamonds. Let's put that right there probably going to go get some diamonds and we have those I'll put those over there um, put my equipment in here um, along with this stuff and 
that goes in there and we'll get all this stuff moved over next episode and uh, we'll get work on this i was gonna work on the house this episode but i got ahead of the game on the other stuff so i figured that's what i would do made more sense to me from a recording standpoint because i had time i had time to do it so i did it but i definitely need to uh rework that I reworked that right now, as a matter of fact. Let's put this. Let's put this right there. So that's blue, and top should be output. Because this will never require as much energy as the harvester will. And this is still... Yeah, see how much energy it uses when it's harvesting? Watch it. Now it should start going back up. It has devoured my house. <laughs> it's devoured this house. Holy moly. <laughs> I think we may have to move that thing out a little bit. Or maybe just change the stone to, or the wood to brick. I think that, that would look nice. That would definitely look nice. I like the log texture, but I think... See how, see how quick it goes now? That's, what, that's the difference of what I had last time. Yeah, it's almost full again. And it should keep the apples in there and wood goes everywhere else. Like right now you can see that this has got 45 wood in it. Eventually get to the point where one furnace can't keep up with it. Power-wise it will, but not um, as far... What the heck is that? It's a cow with a funny hat on. Power-wise it'll keep up. What kind of hat is that, dude? What is that? Yeah, you better run, because I want that hat. Turkey hat. <laughs> That's what it is. It's a turkey. <laughs> turkey hat. Done. <laughs> turkey hat. Little <laughs> Minecraft. And no, I wasn't saying anything. 